questions. This is on percent word problems. Okay, you were taught uh, probably two years ago and even last year um, to do a ratio box or a percent box. That's what we're going to use with this. I'm not doing it the way the Saxon Math is doing it. I think there's an easier way for our brains to, come to do this. So uh, what you're going to do is you're going to write percent actual count. Okay, you're going to make a chart. Sometimes you can do ratio actual count, percent actual count. So um, anytime you have a percent problem, this is how you would work it. Okay. So usually when you're working with percent, you're going to have an original amount or original percent. And then you're going to go up or down. I don't know if you remember this chart. And then the new price. Most of the time you'll use it with prices like 20% off. So you have the original and then you get 20% off. So what's the new price? Um, those kind of things. So we have an original, how much it went up or down, and then the new price or the new amount. Okay, so let's use this. Here's what it says. Kathy, John, and Susie have only 20 chickens left. Okay, so I'm just going to write down 20 chickens left. Because I'm going to ask you where to put these in just a minute. If they began with 80 ch chickens, began with, with 80 chickens, what percent of the flock remains? What percent of flock remains? Okay, so let's look at actual count because we know we have 80 and 20 chickens. Okay, so we begin with 80 chickens. That'd be the first. The original five. actual count, we had 80 chickens. And then we ended with 20 chickens, that's the new. Now, um, how much did it go up or down? You don't have to fill this in because it's not going to be important. But you can. We can put 60 there. And it went down 60. Okay? Um, and then it says, what percent of the flock remains? So this was the original percent, 80, actual count. And then what percent of the flock remains? So always, 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 the original percent is always 100%. That's what you always start with. Okay? So they want to know what percent of the flock remains if 20, 20 chickens are left what percent is that so we want to know the new percent do you see that yeah i'm going to put an x there or you can put a c for chickens whatever okay so now i'm going to make my problem you're going to take this side and go 100 over x so you're going to take one that you know everything about and the one that you want to know about the row that you want to know and you're going to put them over each other. 100 over 100, 100 over x equals, and then you're going to say 80 over 20. Okay. Hopefully you remember making these problems. Okay. So now you're just going to go 100 times 20. It's going to be 2,000, and then 80 times x. So we're going to go this times this, and then this times this. So this is 80 times x equals 2,000. Okay. Now we try to get x by itself times 80, so we're going to divide by 80, remember that old rule? Okay, so we're moving it to the other side. And then 2,000 um, divided by 80, I'm going to want to mark out the ending zeros, so that's 200 over 8, which has ended up giving us 25. So 25% is the new amount, okay? So what percent of the original flock remains? 25. Got it? Yeah. All right, let's do a few more just to make sure you're getting this and how to set it up. This one may be a little bit harder, so pay attention. Uh, listen to this. Mimi and Jim have 75 thingamabobs. I'm just going to put 75 things. They want to give how 20%. Give how 20% of them. How many thingamabobs do they give to how. So how many give to how. Okay, so help me out with this one. Um, Mimi and Jim have 75 thingamabobs. They want to give how 20% of them. How many thingamabobs do, do they have, give how? Okay, so what's the original percent always? 100. 100. Okay, and if they want to give her 20%, how much do they decrease by? 80. 80. So they lost 80 because they're wanting to give her 20. Okay, so that's the new percent that they're wanting to give. Okay, so now listen to this. 
Uh, let's see where it is. Okay, they want to give Hal 20% of them. How many Thangamon Bobs do they give Hal? Well, if they gave her 20%, how many did they give? Okay, so what's the original count then? 75 Thangamon Bobs. That's what they had, okay? Let me try to set that out. They have 75 Thangamon Bobs, and they want to give her 20% of them. Okay, so then how much that will count? Good. Okay, now we take one that we know everything about, a row that we know everything about. It has both answers. And then one that we want to know about. We want to know what is the actual count that was 20% of those thing of box. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to go 100 over 20 equals 75 over X. Okay, so we're going to do the cross multiply. 100 times x equals 75 over times 20, which is, do you have it? It's uh, 1,500. 1,500? Yeah. Okay. And so then 100 times x, uh, remember we're just trying to get the x by itself, so this times 100 becomes divided by 100. Okay. And then that becomes 15. Okay. So how many did they give her? 15 thing from the bobs. Got it? Yeah. Feel like you're getting it? Yep. All right, last one. I'm going to let you tell me what to do. Okay. Bo and Christy hide 600 raisins. Hide 600 raisins. It's always important just to write down the information that you take from it. This is, this is 60% more. 60% more than they hid last month. How many raisins did they have last night, month? Okay, so original percent is, remember, 100. always 100. Okay, now listen, they, they said that they did 60% more. So that's plus, plus 60. 60. So what's the new percent? 160. 160. Okay, now it says this. Bo and Chrissy hide 600 raisins, and this 600 raisins is 60% more than they hid. So the 600 raisins are the new. So, how many raisins did they hide originally or last month? Okay, so you just, again, we set it up like this. 100 over 160 equals X over 600. 600 times 100 makes 60,000. Um, and then 160X equals 60,000. And when you do the math for that, it's going to end up giving us 375. So, they hid 375 raisins. Okay? That's how you do that. That's lesson 58.